welcome to my closet. I have a friend here. His name's Carl. So starting right at the entrance, the first thing is this acrylic little bar cart, which was in my last tour, but I've kind of rearranged it and made it a little bit more fall and also glam. So black, gold, and pink. Andre got me these for my birthday, which I unboxed on Instagram Live, and I was so excited. If you guys don't know what they are, check them out. Venus et Fleur. I love, love. They're real flowers, and they last up to a year, and their customer service is everything. So then I just have a couple of my favorite perfumes on here, and then this just holds my joyous little octopus guy. Holds my jewelry, and then of course I have a little bit of fall decor. And when you turn the corner, I have like this drawer that pulls out for all my sunglasses. Most of my sunglasses are by Key, Q-U-A-Y. So most people say Quay, it's Key, but these are all Key sunglasses. Love, 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 love. And that's where I store them. It works pretty well. You can use that for like scarves or whatever. By the way, this entire wardrobe is packs. It's not custom. We actually just got an extra thing of wood to make it look finished off. And then we just filled the room with packs. So it's way more organized and I had way more creative ability for it. So. Right here, I have a little bit of a shorter section for all of my short dresses and rompers. So in here, you guys have probably seen me wear most of these on my Instagram or on other videos or other Disney videos. So these are just a couple of, and this really is like a closet tour, not a clothing tour, but I figured I would show you guys what I've got in here. And these are ever rotating. And then anything that's out of season, I put it up in the boxes up above, which are also from Ikea. It's very budget friendly. And then, under here, I have all these little kind of cloth bins from Ikea, and I just fold my clothes in there. I feel like this works a lot better, just keep it organized rather than just folding it and hoping that it stays organized. And I'll usually just roll my rompers or my shorts and put them all in their appropriate areas. Now, a lot of this has changed over since last time you guys have seen it. And in here, I've got all my bottoms, my jean shorts, skirts, uh, pants, basically anything that is a bottom and then one little loose top in here. I'm actually packing right now to go to Disneyland. So there are a couple things missing. And then under here, I have my copious amounts of bathing suits. If you guys have ever seen me do a bathing suit haul, I have a lot of them. I am sponsored by like multitudes of companies of bathing suits. I guess I just attract that type of person, but it's my favorite video to do and I'm actually due to do another one. So moving on. So we've got this section and moving on to this section is all of like my accessories, jewelry, another box above, and then underwear and all that stuff. And I'll show you guys how I organize all that. Again, I'm packing, so a lot of stuff is missing. So I have another shorter version of that sunglass drawer with just extra perfume bottles, some jewelry. And my Alex and Annie, you guys, this is like the most beautiful Alex and Annie set. And then I got asked a lot about these in Disney World. So, so these all have different Disney sayings on them. Best day ever, keep moving forward, kind of trying to do the impossible and go live your dream. So there's a ton of them. I have a discount code for these. I will put it down below. They are by Lillian and Co. Again, I'll put the link down below. And then in here, I have just an array of jewelry and you can get this little tray. It comes in as part of the pack system and just slides right in. And I just use this to kind of keep my stuff as organized as I possibly can. And then this little jewelry organizer is from Bombay & Co. It's a store in Canada. I think they have them in the States and it basically just holds all my jewelry, but I tend to use this a little bit more. And that beauty is from Loungefly. I actually found that it was too big to bring into the parks, but I love it. So I just keep it on display in my, in my closet. And then in the drawers below, which I've shared before and like, I don't really have any shame. These are my undie drawers. Again, everything's missing cause I'm packing, but I got these like honeycomb dividers on Amazon. And then in here I did the same thing with my socks and my elf socks. And for my bras and everything, I got like these cloth dividers, which is not as easy. It's as good as I can get with that. I don't even wear normal people bras. And then I've got my pajamas under here and then more pajamas under here. So those drawers aren't exactly as exciting, but still allows me to keep them organized and that's how I do it. And then I really decided, you guys, I purged so many of my workout tanks because I just had way too many. So I kept it down to just a couple of my favorites. Some Adidas ones, some that I've had forever. Uh, just plain strong, That's I love that one. That's the one I wore on stage to work out in uh, 
where were we? Indianapolis, and then exercise. Champagne is always the answer. So a couple of these are from Lorna Jane. Some of them are from Beachbody and obviously some Adidas ones. And then I have my basic tanks and my basic tops. Um, some Gymshark stuff. This is like the slounge wear stuff. And that's really what I spend my day in is like the, the most basic tank tops or over here is like the cropped basic tank tops. And then below is all long sleeves. So I got a bunch of these sweaters. I shared it in a fall haul that I did. Um, cute jean jacket. And most of my jackets are downstairs, but my go-tos I do keep up here. And then a lot of my workout hoodies. I love this sweater so much and I cannot wait for it to get cold enough so I can wear it again. A lot of Mickey stuff in here. I try to keep my Disney stuff separate and I just got this and it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a shawl sleeveless shawl love okay we're getting ahead of ourselves so those are all my sweaters and then again same thing anything that is out of season goes up there so like the really summery stuff is all up there and then i've got another bin up above here with any like workout gear that i'm not wearing because all of my workout stuff is here so i have some of the boards in here like the shelves are solid some of them are glass so that i can actually see through it these are organized by category because this is actually what i wear i don't really wear normal girl bras i wear sports bras so these are my actual workout ones like my high impact one my seamless ones high impact high impact because that's just real life and then under here I've got seamless and comfortable ones with like crossy fronts yes I have a lot of sports bras it's what I do I am a health and fitness coach so I live in workout gear and I have my actual like cupped ones and crop top bra tops crop top bra tops and then the high neck ones you guys I have this down to a science and then same these little bins are from Ikea so those are sports bras and then I have shorts I have a new obsession with shorts so I'm trying to find like the best ever workout shorts because I tend to not wear leggings anymore as much when I'm working out. I just get too warm. And so these are, some of them are Rogiani, some of them are Victoria's Secret. I've got a lot of Nike ones and some old, some new, some Gymshark, some Forever 21. The Forever 21 ones are pretty awesome. Lululemon, obviously. And then this drawer is all of my seamless leggings, mostly Gymshark, a lot of Gymshark. <laughs> I have a couple bombshell sportswear stuff, Lululemon, Lorna Jane, Beachbody, some from Amazon, uh, some from Fabletics, and that's my go-to in the winter for sure. And then in here, I decided to fold these like in a straight, you know, the, the Conmetti style. I don't know if you guys have ever read that book, the, the Subtle Art of Tidying Up, but that's how I figured this out. So much more space. So I put all my graphic ones that honestly, I don't wear these ones as much. They're more just to make my videos as fun as possible. But a lot of these are from Amazon or Lotus Leggings, the ones that are printed. Not exactly like the highest quality, just cute for videos. And then some from Fabletics and Gymshark as well. There's a lot in there. And then here I have my actual go-tos, like my Grays, um, Lululemon, just my basic basic stuff that I wear on the day-to-day -day, and I folded those the exact same way So that is like the workout area and then in here I've got all of my long dresses and my long jumpsuits And so I've got you know, I usually will filter through these and fold some that I haven't worn in a while Just into the bins or downstairs because it just doesn't hold I feel like that's the, the space that is the most used up and then right next to that you can kind of see how we finished it like there's an extra board here so we just bought an extra pax system cube and we used the wood from it to finish the top portions and then anything that was exposed so just kind of made it all fit into the room so they come in all different sizes like the smallest one i think is half a meter and then there's a meter and then two meters i think something like that and so there's always uh, a spot underneath that you can just add the shelf as well. And these are corner units that we got here. So in here, we ended up using the extra wood to kind of make a little makeshift bench. And I had a cushion made for it. And then I just kind of use that to, I don't ever sit on it. I just use it for my purses or pillow or whatever. And then I've got a little window in there too, which I have to be careful with when I'm changing. <laughs> and I don't think anyone can really see me. But in here, then it kind of, it jumps over and it continues and so i had laid all of this out like i was the one that actually designed it fun fact we built our own home we designed our own house so we had a lot of say in how it was going to be designed and i knew that i wanted a space for my shoes just like as i was coming in it was always a dream of mine with a pretty chandelier that's up there and so i have some purses up there that's the actual purse that i got that i was saying replaced the 
other Loungefly one because that was way too big for the park. So I love this little Minnie Mouse purse. It's from Loungefly. Yes, it does look like the Kate Spade one, but hundreds of dollars cheaper. And then this cute purse is from Vichy Collection, which I love that store. I'm obsessed with it. And then I got a big pom-pom in Toronto. <laughs> I've been to the side of it and then I've got all my running shoes and some of them are actually you can see they're like doubled up back there because I just have so many running shoes my current faves I think are these and it the the answer changes every time that I do this video because I just get new shoes but these are Nike freeze I don't know what exactly they're called but they basically have the velcro Andre thinks that they're super ugly I think they're adorable I love them you guys can let me know what you think and then I just got these Stan Smiths and these APLs from they, they look really orange in this video I promise they're pink they're like a coral pink so that's all of my running shoes and then I kind of organize like my high tops which I'm just gonna be honest I never wear my high tops anymore and then I've got some purses down here and then all my flats and my Disney flats which I need to pack I'm gonna do a video on how I painted all of those I just painted some more last night and then I've got my, a lot of you guys ask me about these. These are the flats that I wear in Disney. Disclaimer, they are not shoes, they're slippers, and I have no shame in my game. They're by Ugg. So the pom-poms on these are a little bit bigger than these. I don't know why, but I wanted another set, so I got purple ones. I think they're actually like an older season of shoes, but they're super cute. And then I've got some more flats, some heels. These are actually my wedding heels. And these are like all wannabe. <laughs> They're not Valentinos. They are BCBG generation. All of them are. And then these are from Nordstrom from Halogen. These are by Zara. I'm obsessed with these and I'm bringing them to Vegas with us when we go. They're very, they're very Angie, very Tinkerbell. Disney shoes. These are not knockoffs. These are real. If you Google Mickey sequin shoes you'll see here I'll pull them this actually there we go that's the purpose of having the pull out drawers oh there we go oh my god what was I saying Oscar tight Oscar tie I don't know what I was reading down here see what I see the whatever so these are these are everything my coaches actually got me these like I die every time I look at them I just die a little bit of happiness so yeah the drawer pulls out and then I've got these are real these are real these are by Michael Kors and I've got some more heels up there. So that's the shoe area. And then here I have like my, my getting ready space. I have a beauty room that Andre and I built where I actually do my makeup. This is more so for doing my hair or uh, night cream or anything like that. But I did want to show you guys, I showed this in my house tour, but can we talk about it for a second? Cause Disney nerds listen up. So this is magic candle company. I am obsessed with them. I have so many of their candles. This one is the Haunted Mansion one because, you know, it's that time of year. I wish that you could smell it. Can you guys hear it, though? It's a woodwick candle. It's It smells so good, and it actually smells like the Haunted Mansion. They have a Pirates of the Caribbean one. I, I can't. I can't even begin to tell you. I think the best one that they have is the Yacht and Beach Club. So good. And then I've got some little pumpkins here that I got at HomeSense. And I've got this candle from Chapters. Ooh, which is almost empty. I need another one. HomeSense. And then this little stand... I'll link it down below. Andre got it for me for Christmas. It holds my Apple Watch and my iPhone. So the last time that I shared this with you guys, I talked about the, the countertop that I'm obsessed with, the little gold flakes in it. And then I didn't really get into what's in these drawers. So we just got an Alex system, which is any, any person that owns makeup needs to know about the Alex drawer system because it just holds your makeup so well. But we, we recovered it with the same wood veneer. So it looks like it's part of the closet and we just kind of turned it into a little desk. And so in here I have my everyday makeup. I mentioned this in my morning routine, this B-Fect stuff. I have tons of these bottles and they all do something different, but it's like very limited ingredients, very clean. So I use that every morning before I do my makeup. My new obsession is tea tree oil everything from the body shop. So this one is a clay mask that I love. And then I have my night creams. I love La Neige stuff. So that's usually what I use and I've got a bunch of other stuff like this stuff is from I think it says renew no new do I think hopefully I'm saying that right yeah new do they had sent me some stuff that I love and I've got some keel stuff some more body shop stuff glam glow lip mask out and then all of my face masks are in here love a cup of coffee from lush love and I've got like just a bunch of different stuff, some things from my FabFitFun box that I did an unboxing of recently. 
And then here it kind of starts to switch down to sheet masks. I keep all my sheet masks and my lip masks in here. And then the two bottom drawers are hair. So hair products, this little bin is from Ikea. I keep my bobby pins in there and my brushes are in the back. And more hair products and self tanner and stuff like that is in here. So again, I'm packing so there isn't a ton of stuff in here. And then this chair is from Struck Tube, which I thought went perfectly. Hi. And then this light is my life. It's like hanging diamonds. So this is pretty much the entire closet. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And hopefully that was somewhat helpful for you guys. I'm up that bench in the middle as soon as I found it, I was like, yes. And then I put a little fur throw on it. I actually got the fur throw from Amazon. It's faux. It was like $30, but it looks super cute and gray. And my new purse. And that is pretty much it. So you guys, I hope that you enjoyed the tour. And if this video was at all entertaining and helpful and you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.